Alrighty, let's try this game again. Mm-hmm. Okay, El Diablo's the only bad guy, so uh, we'll keep him and hope to get lucky. And we didn't. Alrighty then. Try it again. Yes, I want to load a new game. Okay. El Diablo, good. Pistol and Petunia. Oh, great! This is a good run. Let's just hope we get lucky on this guy. We did it. Darn, darn, darn. I don't like this game. It's just pure luck whether you get it or not, I think. So you just have to keep retrying the game and hope you get lucky until you win. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, let's go. Oh, come on! Not cool. Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. One last time, one last time. If I don't win this time, then this is it, okay? I'm wasting everybody's time losing this game. Okay, okay fine. That's it. Okay. Not playing that game anymore, because I can't win. Okay, and the last thing to do here at Cappy's is check this out. Yeah, Cracker Jack Barrel, see, even the crumbs are crisp. Interesting. Huh, something goes there. Right, so that's all you can do at, uh... Hmm, I think that's everything you can do here. So, let's go back to Mariazzi's. Riding the Marys. Let's talk to her. Yeah, that sounded like an airplane. Hi, can I help you with something? I saw you riding earlier near Shadow Ranch. Mm -hmm. Do you ride around there a lot? You're mistaken. Shadow Ranch Whoa. is private property. I never ride there. You must have seen somebody else. Hmm. I'm sure the Raleigh's don't mind if you ride on their land. Yeah. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. So don't go telling people you saw me trespassing, because you didn't. Excuse me. Whoops. Now she's all angry and won't talk to us again. Until we leave and come back. So, uh, in the meantime, let's make a phone call. Let's call Charlena Purcell. Charlena will be able to tell us about the, uh, crackers. Charlena Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? She told me to put you right through. She even told me to make sure you didn't have to listen to that recording again. You really rate. Awesome. Hello, Nancy. So, what have you discovered? Would you happen to know the brand name of crackers back in the 1880s whose slogan was, Even the Crumbs Are Crisp? Not offhand, but I certainly can't find out. Details like that are why so many of my books have won awards for historical accuracy. Hmm. Have you read any of my books? Uh-oh. Well, now let me think. I'll take that as a no. Yeah. But don't worry about it. I realize that my novels aren't everyone's cup of tea. But it wouldn't hurt to at least give them a try, would it? No. In fact, I'll pick one up first chance I get. And I'll send you the name of those crackers first chance I get. Do you okay. know anything about Dry Creek? Dry Creek. Closest town to Shadow Mountain. Population at its peak, 317. Leading citizen was Cappy Munger. His establishment contained the only piano within 50 miles. Frances, being as smart as she was, taught herself how to play it. That's apparently how she met Dirk. He heard her composing a song one day and fell in love on the spot. Hmm. I came across something that looks like a very old token and has the words Dry Creek Merchants on it. Sounds like you have a piece of Dry Creek script. It was sometimes used in mining towns like Dry Creek in place of currency. Does it have a denomination on it? It says one and a half cent. Yeah. Probably used for games. What kind of games? 
Believe it or not, they had some very primitive arcade-type games back in the 1880s. Some cheating some games that you can't win, even when you replay them over and over again. Talk to you soon. Not that I'm bitter. <laughs> not that I'm bitter or anything. So, let's go on the horse, and let's head back to Shadow Ranch, because... I can't think of anything else to do at Dry Creek or Mary's Gifts. That looks like Mary Yazzie and Tex. Ooh, what are they doing together? They're having a secret romance. Alright, well let's ask Tex about that. Oh, I don't need to learn about Daryl Grayson. Oh, Tex isn't here. Oh, he's out with Mariazzi. Let's talk to Jay. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I'm pretty sure I saw Mariazzi riding on the Raleigh's property. Mm -hmm. Have you mm -hmm. ever seen she her was riding with around Tex. here? Can't say as I have, but then most of my duties require me to stay close to home. Tex, he's the one you ought to ask. I'll let okay. you get back to work. Take care. All fine. Finish talking to Dave. Let's talk to Shorty. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Well, yeah. I'd better get going. Apparently you can't. Stranger. So, hmm, what can I do now? Why don't I call the Raleigh's? Haven't talked to them in a while. And if talking Hello? to the Raleigh's Hi, don't Beth. help... I forgot to ask you before how Uncle Ed was doing. Well, he we'll definitely has some kind of infection. I'm fine. So they've got him on antibiotics. We'll be here at least two more days. I delivered that envelope to Mary Yazi like you asked. She seemed a little upset when she read that you'd turned her down. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint her, but if we sell that property to her, it would send a signal to other would-be buyers that we're interested in selling the ranch off bit by bit, and we're not. Is that the first time she's tried to buy it from you? She's been after us to sell it to her practically since the day we arrived. Mm -hmm. That was her first formal offer. I guess she thought if she put it in writing, we'd accept. Why does she want it so bad? I have no idea. The parcel she wants to buy is nowhere near her store, and there's nothing but rocks on it. Maybe someone else there at the ranch knows, but we sure don't. Are you mm -hmm. aware that there's a secret door behind the bookcase in the den? No. Oh my, you really are quite the detective. How did you discover that? Well, actually, it's a long story. What do you know about Dirk Valentine? Never heard of him. Do you know a Dirk Valentine? Isn't he that outlaw guy Shorty was carrying on about the night I got bit? Yeah. He's supposed to have hidden a treasure somewhere around here. This is the first I've heard about it. It could be why someone is trying to chase you off the ranch. Dirk Valentine? Sounds like a character from a Charlena Purcell novel. As it turns out, I talked to Charlena Purcell recently. Yeah. Really? About what? About Shadow Ranch, actually. And about Dirk Valentine. She's done quite a bit of research on him. He was in love with Francis Humber, you know. Oh, my gosh. You mean Charlena Purcell is going to write a book that takes place on our ranch? She's still my palpitating heart. Ed, you tell her she's mm -hmm. welcome to visit Shadow Ranch and do all the research she wants anytime she wants. Don't I get some say in this? No. <laughs> I noticed a letter in your mm -hmm. low-top desk from someone named Jane Nash. Oh, yes. She worked for us back in Phoenix when we still owned the clothing store. Unfortunately, she turned out to be totally unreliable, and we had to let her go. Her letter sounded almost threatening. Yeah. Oh, she's harmless. Part of her problem was that she was all talk and no show. It was Ed's idea to hire her. Ooh. She was a good salesperson. She was just not a very good person. Person. <laughs> Bet is kind of mean to Ed, I've noticed. Has Tex ever said anything to you about her? About Jane? No, why would he? Uh, I just wondered, that's all. She had an ex-husband or two, as I recall. Very unstable emotionally. Then how can you be so sure she won't do something to get back at you? For the same reason we fired her, dear. She's too lazy. I'll be in touch. All right, dear. Bye now. Okay, so let's call Bess and George, see if they've got anything to talk to us about. Hello, it's me. So what's going on there? Would you believe I found a letter that Dirk Valentine wrote to Francis Humber? 
No way. It was locked up in this chest that belonged to her father. And the letter was never opened. According to his journal, her father intercepted it and locked it away before Francis could read it. So did you read it? Of course she did. I mean, she better have. Mm -hmm. It said that Dirk hid a bunch of his loot somewhere. Ooh, I love it when outlaws hide loot, don't you? What's the letter say? Well, evidently Dirk wanted Francis to have the loot he'd stashed, so he set up this elaborate treasure hunt for her. The letter contained all sorts of weird, obscure clues to help her find what he'd hidden. Yep. But if the letter was never opened, Francis couldn't have found the treasure. Oh my gosh, it could still be out there. And someone could be using that phantom horse to chase the Raleigh's off the ranch because they want to be the ones to find it. We're stuck here when we could be there with you looking for hidden loot? That does it, George. We're suing the airline and the airport. Okay.